Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about um, the programmer of Vitalik and how uh, he uh, is more invested in other cryptos besides just Ethereum. So currently this quote, he talks about um, powering a little guy, screw the big guy, they already have enough money. So for instance, that just means um, that Wall Street and uh, other um, investors like uh, Mark Cuban, Elon Musk, all the big guys, so basically forget what they have to think about Ethereum, just focus more on um, the coin itself and how it can be, uh, it's typically known as the little coin and uh, you have Ethereum known as the Bitcoin, or no, I'm sorry, Bitcoin is number one and then Ethereum is number two, so he's just talking about how um, Ethereum is so underrated and uh, Bitcoin is just too hard to keep track of, so. And then we have, what is it he speaks here about how he just first, uh, learned about Bitcoin which is in 2011 when he was 17 and then two years after that he uh, learned more about Bitcoin and uh, threw out one of his what was it uh, magazines that he had a business magazine the business insider um, he, he found out he wanted to get more involved with the community and uh, more and more he learned about um, the blockchain and later on in uh, let's see, 2011, that's when he was the co-founder for the Bitcoin magazine. And um, he became more involved involved with uh, the blockchain community. And uh, he had attended Bitcoin, a conference in 2013 here, as you can see, which was uh, in Miami. And at that time, he decided to pursue cryptocurrency full time and at the end of the semester he dropped out of school and later on six months in 2013 he realized that he could be a Bitcoin developer so he decided to program uh, a different coin that could help generate the blockchain which could be a potential better one and at that time he decided to um, make a po pocket calculator which um, was an app that he made and programmed and he was able to increase, he came, came up with an idea of increasing power through the system of the blockchain, giving a general purpose and uh, having more of an application for blockchains. And as a result, he came up with Ethereum, which is a crypto currency that has been so underrated in the past during the, uh, the time that it came out and is currently one of the number one, number two uh, trending cryptocurrencies currently right now in the market. And uh, when he first came up with Ethereum, his first thought was, okay, this thing is too good to be true and I'm going to have five professional cryptographers raining down on me and telling me how stupid I am for not seeing a bunch of very ob obvious flaws. But he later on told uh, a company or an interviewer in 2016 um, to basically um, not worry about anything right now because two weeks later he was uh, extremely surprised that none of that had happened so if that had happened he would have had hate on the coin and uh, he probably wouldn't be the co-founder for Ethereum and let's play this little clip here talking about how Ethereum, the crypto, could come out on top. Trading oh, Nation, I'm Dominic Chu. Ethereum crossing $4,000 per token for the first time ever. That cryptocurrency is on a hot streak, up more than 460% so far this year, far outperforming Bitcoin's gains. So is this the better crypto play here? 
I'm now joined by Ari Wald of Oppenheimer, Quint Tatro of Jewel Financial as well. Ari, I'll start with you. The charts, I don't even know if you can look at charts when we're, when we're talking about parabolic moves like this. Tell me. So, yeah, guys, what do you think? Leave a comment and uh, explain what do you think about Ethereum, if it's better than Bitcoin or vice versa. Bitcoin's going to dominate Ethereum. So just leave a comment whenever you're done watching the video. And if you have any more questions, just uh, leave a comment. Thank you. As a technician, as a chart watcher, what exactly the charts can tell you with Ethereum up 460 percent over the course of just 2021? Well, well, that that's what it is right there. Is the performance has been outstanding uh, in, in this crypto? T take for these stats, for instance, in Ethereum in February there was a thirty-five percent pullback. If you bought it right ahead of that drawdown and then you were down thirty-five percent but held through, you'd still be up over a hundred percent right now. In uh, September, last September, there was also a thirty-five percent drawdown. If you held, bought right at the top at the worst possible time. Yeah, and you guys, don't be afraid to hold on um, to your coin and keep your average because you never know in the long term run if it's going to skyrocket. It, it, it's, the news is saying it's going to hit 10,000 or so, but it's all up to you and what you think about the coin and what you see in my videos here. Pretty much, I've just been a huge advocate for this coin because I see a lot of potential for it and that's going to be the future current current. Uh, cryptocurrency which is going to overtake ethereum and it's just on a continuous bull run right now the coin is so underrated right now and uh, just don't be afraid to keep your average and it'll help you save on capital um, gains taxes whenever you have to do your taxes so if you're afraid to sell it right now just uh if you're not if you're not in a bad position if you're making profit then um, you might as well hold on because you're not losing until you sell so yeah stay tuned for uh the rest of this video they're talking about the crypto craze of ethereum and how it's just been parabolic in past 2021 and how it's been on a rampage of increasing uh in uh, of course supply and demand but help through you'd be up over 700 percent since then so what the point i'm trying to make here dom is that even now you get another 35 percent pullback it would still keep ethereum Above its 50-day average, if you're if you're talking about trend following and moving averages, the trend is obviously positive. But the point being is that this is an extremely volatile currency, and traders have to be wary of that. For with big upside reward comes big uh, trading risk within that. And even if this is going to continue to trend higher, it's going to be extremely volatile and traders have to be aware of that so quint tatro i mean it's tough to you're talking about becoming like a, a almost like a monk if you will here you have to you have to deal with the drawdowns sometime 20 30 40 percent of the drawdowns and you have to be a hodler right same kind of thing but then you also have to manage risk around that how exactly then do traders crypto investors navigate this kind of hey i got to be a hodler and, and never sell kind of mentality versus i've got to manage risk on the other side mentality what exactly do you do with a cryptocurrency like ethereum given the massive massive upside moves that, that, that we've seen well dom first of all as an investment advisor my my hat is a little bit different now these days so when i talk to clients about this we talk about it as a part of a portfolio. We talk about it as a very, very small percentage of assets. If they All right, guys, so they're just talking about here if you're worried about either holding the coin for a hold on for the line or if you're uh, also curious about the risks that could happen. Um, these advisors are currently talking about what's going on with the coin and how they can help you. So stay tuned they have real currency concerns. If they're really concerned about hedging currency risk, and we talk about it as a percentage of, of assets that really they never should then liquidate, if that's their concern, and that's a very small, small percentage of our overall clientele. So quite frankly, we don't, we don't deal with it all that much. Now, that being said, I did sit on a long short equity desk. So from a trading perspective, I think what I would share with any traders out there is if you're gonna trade it, trade it. And I think that you're gonna get into trouble if you're 
buying a, uh, an asset based on maybe technicals or breakout levels, and then all of a sudden those, those rules go by the wayside when they break down. And I'm seeing a lot of that uh, with some people. Very shorter term, and again, throw the, throw the technical hat on, which I know is... All right, guys, as he says there, uh, invest at your own risk, and uh, I myself am trying to give not really some financial advice, but I'm not a financial advisor, so... Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, one more important fact uh, that, it's, uh, that I need to state here is that just breaking news recently in the past day or two there's uh, been a watch company um, called World Tempest and uh, they're accompanied by Jacob and company so they're the first luxurious watch and jewelry brand accept cryptocurrency so this is a huge thing if you're uh, big into watches and fashion and uh, designer brands basically can shop on this website and uh, they accept payments of Bitcoin ethereum and other digital currencies which you know it, it might be doge in a few years who knows It'll be, it's currently ethereum and uh, Bitcoin so yeah and their watches are pretty cool right here as you can see I myself would like owning one of these and uh, currently I will go give them a follow on Twitter uh, trading nation which we just watched a, a quick little brief uh, video about ethereum and how it's uh, been able to hit 4,000 in the past year in 2021 and it's currently on a bull run so yeah just shoot him a follow on Twitter and that cur currently have a lot of news you can uh if you're interested in other kind of information about crypto and stocks just give them a follow and uh thanks again for watching guys